Africa is indeed experiencing the impacts of climate change. Climate change effects are here to stay and we have to adapt to them. Some of the changes we see are shoreline changes that has implications on coastal infrastructure, it has implications on hotels and livelihoods. We see sea level rise has implications on mangrove cover. So we experience a mangrove dieback in several areas. We are seeing a challenge uh, on our biodiversity through climate impact. When we have storms, when we have uh, higher temperatures, when we have ocean acidification, all these present threats to biodiversity. But the biggest challenge that Africa has is we've yet to document all that we have. And this poses a risk because we will lose uh, biodiversity and we'll lose things that we didn't even know we had in the first place. And I think it's important that we begin to invest in tools that can assist us to document our biodiversity as documentation and understanding what we have will be the first phase of understanding what we should protect and how we should protect it. I'm a seagrass scientist and I work in seagrass habitats and in our region we are seeing an increase in sea urchins that uh, amounts to degradation of seagrass beds because of increased herbivory in these areas. They could be two drivers climate change on one hand, perhaps increase of temperatures, and on the other hand, uh, human activities through destructive uh, fishing practices, over harvesting of predatory fish from the systems. In many cases, when we talk about climate change in our region, it's not just uh, temperature increments and other issues that we see. We also have to recognize that we have a hand as human beings in driving and increasing the impact in our ecosystems. African nations have engaged in a blue economy uh, dialogue. And I find it very critical for us to recognize that we can only build a blue economy on resources that are alive, resources that are protected. And if we are not careful, we will build a blue economy on vanishing resources. So we have to take care. I'll mention one project in a place known as Gazi, where communities have come together to restock their mangrove forests and are benefiting from carbon credits. There is a sense that uh, we need to begin to upscale these small initiatives, such that communities benefit from initiatives that begin to secure our coastlines and our ecosystems from extreme climate change e events. And I think that is just one example that is being expanded um, going forward. There are many other things that we can do. Um, I come from a community of scientists and I recognize the opportunity we have to do good science and good science that gives good data, good information that can convince policymakers to take action. I think Africa is a place to be in right now because um, I believe we have a lot of climate solutions. If only we took time to look uh, at the grassroots and find out how people are coping.